Hi folks, it's about time to talk about the Sony One 2 that will be announced on November 19 because in the past couple of days I had a chance to talk to a couple of people that tested the camera and they didn't feel comfortable for obvious reason to share specs but they just hinted me about the general aspect of the camera and what I can tell you right now is that this is really a sort of minor facelift of the Sony One. There is nothing earth-shaking, groundbreaking. Uh, they don't themselves don't see this as a Sony A1 II, but more like a Sony A1 Plus. <laughs> so like, something like a facelift, underwhelming uh, release. In their opinion, Sony should have done more. It's nice to have some improvements that I will mention later, but it's really minor. So. Uh, that's all for sure that I can tell you and now what I'm going to tell you is a couple of uh, things that the camera will have as of new features those are not 100% confirmed yet so keep in mind what's coming next is probably near certainly going to be correct but I'm, I still didn't get a confirmation just as a disclaimer so that you know so what's sure this will be the camera will announce November, November 19 and it will not be a major advancement but more like a facelifted Sony A1 and now I'm going to walk you through what you can possibly expect but before that a quick reminder to all sources that if you are able to share some info about the Sony One too, if you find some info here and there you can always contact me using the contact form here and also the email address. So what are the improvements of the Sony A1 II over the Sony A1? Of course, we already saw the images of the Sony A1 II, so we know it will have the same Sony A93 body, so that's an improvement over the Sony A1. It will have pre-capture, it will have the 3.2 inch variangle screen, it will have the X stops image stabilization from the A93, so it's up from the 5.5 stops of the A1, that's nice to have. It will obviously have that AI chip of the A93 with all the goodies like accurate subject recognition, improved autofocus and so forth. It also should have the new CFX Express 4.0 Type A standard, which means you double the read and writing speed on your cards. And this will improve the buffering time on the Sony A1 II, so definitely that's a nice to have new feature. But that's all the list I got regarding the possible improvements over the Sony A1. Maybe there are some more, but I didn't get them as of yet. Again, I hope that the next days I will be able to get a detailed spec list so that we might find out that there is more. But so far, those are the only near confirmed improvements of the Sony A1 II over the Sony A1. For the rest, I've been told everything should be about the same. Of course, it has the same 50 megapixel sensor and um, probably more disappointing, only one uh, source hinted me about this and I hope he's wrong. He told me that the frame rate is the same, so 30 frames per second. Again, this is only coming from one source, happens that they uh, read something wrong or maybe there's something else they're missing to report. But I've been told as of now, unconfirmed, that it keeps the same frame rate. I was actually counting on having a faster frame rate, mainly because now you don't you have cards that can take much more data faster, you have a faster buffering. Again, don't get overacting the comment system to regarding to this point because I am really awaiting confirmation. Also, it appears that it will have the same 8K, 30P, 4K, 120P feature, so there should be not 8K, 60P from what I heard. But again, also in that case, that's the same source telling me it is, and he might be wrong. Uh, but if he would be right, then really 50 megapixel, 8K, 30, 30 frames per second would be basically the same of the A1 with the only advantage that the new A1 II would have a uh, faster buffering, so that's nice to have, but that's about it, and that would be a letdown, of course. But I hope to be wrong, because the devil is always in the detail, maybe uh, there are some changes that I don't know, and maybe that source is wrong, so that part really, I'm sharing it, because I'm afraid that he, he, this could be right, because the trusted sources told me that the update is kind of underwhelming, so that could be true, but it's really 
not confirmed as of yet. Uh, to, to recap, the Sony One 2 with the 20X 72.0 are confirmed to be announced November 19. There should be no other camera, no other lens. Regarding 20X 70mm lens, it's not an inner zoom. It will go out by one centimeter when you zoom, so not by a lot. But I was expected that it wasn't an inner zoom. Uh, also, I've been told that yeah, the image quality is great, but it relies heavily on software correction, which is kind of usual from Sony, so I was expecting this too. And also the minimum focus distance is very short, the source is reliable, but he didn't tell me exactly the number, so I hope that he will contact me again and tell me the number, but he said it's really nice, very short. So, And overall the lens, uh, sources told me, it, it, this is really a nice lens, so this will be a very high performance compact lens so this is definitely something nice to have that will not be a disappointment but the Sony One 2 will be underwhelming a nice small facelift better than nothing but underwhelming I will throw in a small fault at the end of this uh, I got the feeling and I might be wrong that Sony is rushing out this small facelift because they know that not the real update will come in a couple of years, so maybe even two, three years from now, maybe we will get a 50 megapixel global shutter Sony A13 that really brings major advancements when it comes to uh, speed and so forth. Uh, but uh, the feeling is like, you know, once I think Sony released the Sony E7R4A, that was a small update of this. Sony E7R4 and one or two years one or two years after they released the Sony E7R5. So maybe you have to think when it comes to the Sony One 2 like a sort of A smaller update, so uh, a sort of in-between model and the next real update is not coming really in four or five years but in two or three years. So that's the feeling I got. Um, but uh, it's a feeling. I hope that uh, in my next chat with the sources I can get some more ideas about this. Um, also a reminder that the Sony E7 V is definitely coming during the early part of the year 2025. And in this case this will not be a minor update but like a more regular a new kind of camera. So definitely exciting. And that's about it folks, I know this will not make you super happy, but the lens is nice, the Sony One 2 is a solid facelift, one can be happy with that. It's anyway going to be a very expensive camera, so it's definitely not for 99% of you anyway. So keep focus that on the fact that the Sony A7 V is definitely coming soon down the road, okay? See you soon folks.